Welcome to LeetCode's Blind Curated 75, where I'll be solving the top 75 LeetCode questions. This problem is called valid parentheses, and it's a standard problem you'll see. Given a string containing just the characters, open parentheses, close parentheses, um, open squiggly bracket, open bracket, close bracket, blah, blah, um, determine if the input string is valid. And it's valid if all the open brackets are closed by the same type of bracket. Um, one other thing to note is open brackets must be closed in the correct order. So like this would be true, this would be true uh, because they all have matching bra closed brackets. But note that this one would not be true because the open parentheses or the open bracket is followed by a closed parentheses. And that in this case shouldn't count. It needs to follow by the correct bracket. So that actually makes our algorithm a lot easier. Usually with this problem, what you'll do is build a stack of um, open parentheses or brackets. And if you can match the top stack with the closed bracket, then you can just pop that off. And if the string is valid, at the end, this stack should be empty because we've um, matched every open bracket or parentheses with its closed bracket or parentheses. So what I'm going to do is build a stack here. Oh, let's first close this. This. I'm going to build a stack. And I'll just be an empty list. And what I'm going to do to make our coding a little easier is create a lookup table. And this is just going to be a dictionary matching the different closed brackets to one another. Uh, so for closed parentheses, I'm going to match that with an open parentheses. So bear with me, this might take a little bit of time. So close parentheses. Let's go the line, this and that. Does that look good? I think so, all right. And that's just to make our code a little bit easier. You don't need this, uh, but otherwise you'd have to have a lot of other if else statements. So for every parentheses in our string, first we're gonna check to see if it's a open parentheses or bracket. So if p in lookup and notice that these are the values, then we'll simply append to our stack. Otherwise, it's a closed parentheses or bracket, right? And if that's the case, we need to make sure that the top stack equals the lookup um, key values, same parentheses, basically make sure the types are the same. Uh, so first thing we need to check is make sure this there's something on the stack. Um, if stack and this lookup values matching parentheses, which is going to be a open parentheses or bracket. If that equals the stack, what's ever on the top stack, then pop it off because we've matched it together. Otherwise, if we can't match this scenario, like say there's no stack and it's a closed parentheses, then we've already figured out that this is not valid. So we'll just return false there. Finally, once we've gone through our entire loop, our stack should be empty. So just return whether the stack is an empty list or not. And if it's not, then this will be a false. So let's run that. Um, oh, look, so look up, look up, typos there. I'm just going to submit that because I'm pretty sure this will work. And there, there we go. Um, that's really it. I, it looks like I've used a ton of memory that I would have liked, but um, I mean, whatever. This is basically the standard solution. So thank you.